What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Episode 67? 68. Is it 68? I believe oh, so. Fuck's sake, blood. They're going to get onto me, blood. Ah, oh, troops. Blah, you went wrong this week. Ah, nah, fuck you, man, blood. <laughs> but episode 68 of Back Again with Troops presented. By Heineken blood, you get me? And obviously, this uh, episode, first episode of the week, is sponsored by Heineken Zero Zero blood. You understand? Now, obviously, you know, say, football time right now, the Euros, you're going to get into arguments, you're going to get into debates, and obviously, you want to be level headed in them debates. The Zero Zero is what you bring to the table, blood. You understand? As you already know, it's only got snitch nine calories in it. You understand? So you feel me? The gym man, them, your calorie, your calorie watch is, is all good for you. You understand? But make sure you're 21 and over before you purchase. And obviously, you can get one from your local retailer or delivered to your crib. Zah, what are you telling me, bro? I ain't seen uh, you for a couple of days. What are you telling me? I, I'm fucked right now. <laughs> get me? I got big up Heineken, but right now I'm on the team, man. I'm not going to lie to the man, man. I big up my cup, <laughs> world's best dad. I believe I am the world's best dad, man. There it is. Nah, I'm all good, man. Just, just watching, taking in the Euros, taking in the stuff that you guys are doing. Just jealous of everybody that's there enjoying the, enjoying the good time, man. Did you see the run? Oh, 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 to the stadium. Uh, actually, yeah, that was unnecessary. That shot was unnecessary. The whole, uh, if Zai was here, if Zai was here, you'd be struggling. That was unnecessary. I did see that in the last vlog. <laughs> I'd actually forgotten about that. <laughs> blood, I'm not going to lie, yeah. You would have been struggling, blood. What, blood, you, had, you had to lap the whole stadium? <laughs> Bro, this fucking idiot jet ski, blood. He thinks he's going to fucking Yankee Stadium or one of them thing there, blood. You understand? Man's giving me numbers. And when he said the numbers, yeah, because I know Wembley, innit? When he said 523, yeah, I automatically thought it's Turnstile J. Yep. You understand? So I'm running towards J, yeah? Then I said, someone so said to me, let me check the phone. I said, Jesse, give me your phone. Brother, the thing says A, bro. At this point, yeah? At this point, we were at H, blood. Oh, my goodness. Yeah? <laughs> so we've had to run back about eight, plus, Yeah? Mm. About, and the turnstiles, they're big, bro. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, from H, so, so like from each letter, yeah, it's like from running, it's like running from, um, it's like running from, um, you know, um, you know the pub we go to certain time with Mikey on 27th? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like uh, running from 20, yeah. it's like running from Smithfield to the office. That's each block. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I would have been dead. <laughs> I would have been dead. Bro, even Jets was like, yo, you're fast troops, blood. I said, bro. Like, man, don't know, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I'm deceptive, blood. You understand? <laughs> I'm deceptive with it, bro. And like our man's been working out as well. You get me? That helped, man, as well, blood. Because I've been doing cardio, innit? Yeah. You get me? I've been doing cardio and I've been doing a bit of ab work. Well, I, I'm, I'm kind of taking my time with it on the ab work, blood. Because, you know, say, man, I have the belly and them thing there, blood. And <laughs> voila, and fam, when man trying to do these fucking, these things here, blood, blood. <laughs> My belly is hurting. Pause, fam. You understand? I know how. Now I know how. You get me? I'm, I'm not trying to take. I'm not trying to. I, I gotta say it, bro. I'm, I'm gonna say it about my girl, fam. I know how my girl feels when I'm when I'm balls deep, blood. And she's like, my belly, my belly. Pause, fam. You understand? Now I know, blood, ain't it, blood? Because I literally, I was there like rotted. Is this how they get the feel? Pause. Voila, this one ain't good, you know, dog. Pause, fam. You understand? This one is political, blood. Zah, oh, big man thing, bro. Oh my god, I'm busting sweats. You might remember when I fucking came on the thing? I said, give me one minute. I need to shower. Pause. Yeah, remember? yeah, yeah. Hey, yep, yep. <laughs> Jets is all sending me links. Yo, you ready? I said, big man, I need about 30 minutes. Give, me a, give me a second. <laughs> Jets is like, yo, you all right? I was like, bro, good, bro. But yo, blood, man was pushing hard, fam. Pause, blood. You understand, blood? Oh, my I days, cuz. I would have needed to rest the next two days. So thank God I wasn't there for that run part. <laughs> bro, but the maddest thing was, yeah, as we got in, yeah, the anthem's playing, bro. As we, as I got up the stairs to go into the actual ground, your, your seats and all, bro. I actually like, I don't sing the national anthem in it. Yeah, you understand? I know the words, 
but I don't sing it, bro. You understand? I, I just stand there and put my hand on my chest in it and just respect it. But I have to say it, bro. As a black man, I cannot be singing that national anthem, bro. You understand? Mm -hmm. I yep. cannot do it, bro. You get me? Yep. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, no corona, the hay fever. If you've seen my tweets, bro, fucking hell, man. The mate, po bro. season. <laughs> Jesus Christ, blood. The way man's been sniffling, you would have thought man was on the white stuff, man. Jesus Christ. You understand? <laughs> fucking hell, nose, sunshine. Those man. nose beers. <laughs> bro, mad thing, blood. You get me? But, bro, oh my God. What was I saying, blood? That flipping the thing just took the me anthem. away. The anthem, yeah. So, man are doing the anthem, yeah? Everyone's doing it. And then they do the knee, yeah? And then where I was, where I was, there was no booze. Uh, people were applauding. And I put my hand in the air, innit? Like, I didn't do what Ty does, go on one knee in the ground. On one knee, yeah. <laughs> I just, when, when they took the knee, I just put my hand up, blood. Yep. In, in solidarity and showed them that, yo, blood, I'm, I'm not scared, bro. I'm with you, man, innit? Man got yep. a problem. My fucking hands here, blood. This hand can just go, boy, in like a blood clot, blood. You see it? You understand? That's how I do with racism, blood. You know, like that? Yeah, yeah. You understand? <laughs> That's the only way I think man should be dealing with it, blood. I'm not on this, oh, educate them, nah, slap up in blood, blood. <laughs> you understand? And then, obviously, Raheem blood clot Sterling, you get me, a, a immigrant who, who, who immigrated from Jamaica into the country, uh, getting the winning goal, um, obviously, as a, as a fellow Marvelly man, as a fellow Kingstonian, you see me? Very proud moment. Very happy, blood. You get me? To see him score his first goal in a major tournament as well, blood. To actually be there, you get me? It was, it was, very, it, it was very enjoyable, blood. But then the joke thing is, yeah, did you see that picture, yeah, of that fucking idiot? He's there booing the fucking knee, yeah? But then oh, when yeah. Sterling scores, my man's there, like, celebrating, yeah. Yep. I'm like, bro, yep. don't celebrate, bro. Like, I rate Gaffer, innit? Lee judging. Because he said that I will not celebrate a goal scored by a Tottenham player for England. You understand? And a lot of people thought he was chatting shit, da, 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 trying to get views, red tear, tear, being, um, oh, what's the word? Um, being, uh, not what's the word? Not contrarian. No, being like a wind up. Yeah. Trying yeah, to rattle yeah. people. Yeah. You get me? But I know Gaffer, innit? I know that, bro. I've been with him at England games, like, and I've seen Kane score, Peanut Head Ali score, and man just there celebrate. sipping his pint, blood. He ain't doing nothing. Like. <laughs> I just keep, and keep moving I'm, on with this day. <laughs> I'm telling you, blood. Man's got the one finger there, like, whoop. You understand? The little pinky finger just there, blood, with his half pint, fam. You understand? And then somebody must have found the clip where when the penalty was scored from Kane, Gaffer's just there, like this, blood. DT's behind him going mad. The whole place is going mad. My man's just there like, yeah, whatever. Like, Not even yeah. bothered. <laughs> Not, didn't even batter an eyelid, blood. Yeah? Didn't even batter an eyelid, blood. And, I, and even though I, like, I, I don't agree with it, you get me? For me, I think that um, when we go to international tournaments, we need to put the rivalry of the club aside yeah. and, and, and ride out, blood. You get me? Like, everyone knows I don't like Kane. You get me? I hate the youth, bro. When it, not like as a person, I hate him in football. You get me? One of the most, probably one of them, probably one of the, he's probably one of the top five footballers I hate, blood, you hate on the you pitch. Don't. You understand? But when he's got that England shirt on, blood, the rivalry, even though he is from down the road, the shithole, the scum, he is representing England. At that moment in time, he's not representing Tottenham. Tottenham yeah, Tottenham, yeah. Where, yeah, Tottenham pay his wages, but you get me. I get why Gaffer's doing it as well because of the Arsenal-Tottenham rivalry. Mm -hmm. But I think that you get me? Maybe we should get me, stick together. Because maybe if the fans unite, that will unite the players, blood. And then we could actually go far in the tournament. Because when you look at other countries, the Spains, the Frances, the Portugals that go deep in the tournaments and win these tournaments, there's a unity in the team and a unity in the fan base. Like, I'm not sure that like, Catalonia... And, and, and the Madridistas, in the Madrid Barcelona, team. Madrid, it's, that's a sticky situation, bro. Yeah. That's politics. There's bad things in that. But <clears throat> when they, like Enrique, I don't know if Enrique's trying to flip in, start the madness again because he's, he, he's a Catalonian he and, he, and he, he's a Catalonian and he's picked no one from Madrid. He didn't pick Madrid, no like. Madrid players. <laughs> so I don't know if he's trying to start this beef again. But when they were winning 
oh. back to back Euros. When they won them three tournaments, they won the Euros, yep. the World Cup, and then they won the Euro won again. The Euros again, yep. The Spanish fan base was together, blood. And you could see, I, I like even when I went to um, Russia, I met a lot of Catalonians, I met a lot of Madristas. You get me? Even um, um, the man, uh, the Bilbao man, mm. their man, they're down there, they beef. Uh, the ba- I think they're called the Bass people. Uh, apologies if I got it wrong. They beef another set of man. And even them man, they was all one. Yo, they yeah. were like, yo, right now, it's, it's Hispania. Let's win this. And then you get me. August 3rd, you're a pussy all again. You get me? And yeah. I think that's how we should go at it, bro. You get me? Because even Reese James, blood, you get me? I gave him a little stick. And people, what people, what, what pissed me off with the Reese James thing is that when I said that, when I bucked him, like Tammy was cool, Mason was cool. He kind of looked at me with a screw face. And I even said, I said that maybe, I said, I said to me, he felt a bit arrogant, felt a bit arrogant, like he thought, yeah, I mean, that's how I felt. But I also said that maybe he, maybe he was like that because this was at FIFA 20, bro. So he was even younger than what he is now. You know, yeah, before, he's, and I even, before he was a player. You get me? And I even said that maybe he acted like that because of his age. You get me? He never had, he wasn't mature then. I even said that, bro. You understand? Mm-hmm. But people just ran with the, oh, no, 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 no. But you know how it is, man, isn't it? You yeah, that's, that's, that's the internet. You get me? But even Reese said that, yo, like, you get me? All the England players, like, we've put all our club rivalry to the side. You get me? Like, obviously, the Man, Man, Man City, Chelsea, Champions League final. Mm-hmm. So you've got the likes of Walker, Stones, uh, Mason Mount, Reese James, obviously, the winners. Dave, you understand? Folding. There could have been a bit of animosity. Sterling could have been a bit of animosity there. But they've put that to the side to kind of push the, uh, push the country forward. Push and I think you could see <clears throat> unity in this England team. In this group, I think yeah. there is a togetherness. Bro. Yeah. No. You know who you need to get on the same page too? I don't know if you saw it. Did you see the, the, the headlines? That, uh, the, the, I think it was the day after. The Calvin Phillips headlines. I don't know who it was. The Daily Mail. Daily Mail. Like nothing. It's just, it's, it's just, before we get to the Calvin thing as well, hopefully um, the guy that fell from the stands um, um, is doing okay. But I heard that a fan uh, fell from the stands in the ground, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. I, heard he was, I heard he was in critical condition. Uh, I haven't heard anything um, about the situation, but you get me thoughts and prayers going out to him. <clears throat> Hopefully he makes a speedy recovery. You get me, you don't want to hear none of that. But the Kelvin Phillips situation, it doesn't even shock me, bro. I mean, you understand? When the Black Lives Matter thing was going on, he came out and, and, and let man know that he's Jamaican. I never knew that before, but I'd be real with it, bro. I'm a man that knows that. My man that knows every player that's got a piece of Jamaican in them paws. You understand? I know <laughs> all, the wall of them. The wall of them. <laughs> With him, when I saw him, I said, what? I, I said, I said, yo, this you is not white, blood. I said, yeah. it's not, I said, it's not even the hair, blood. He look, he's got that Trey Carter, blood. Yeah. You understand? You, you have something in you, blood, paws. And when he came out, yeah, and said that, yo, my, my, my grandparents are Jamaican, of Jamaican descent, I'm a proud, um, I, I, I love Jamaica, food, rare, tear, tear, represent. I said, Bumba Clot. I said, yes, my dog. <laughs> I said, well on. So that's why right, he loves you, yeah? Because it's your right yard, he has well, blood. You're yeah. one of us, blood. You understand? And it's, it's just, it's, you understand? You've got, a, you've got a young man there who, who had a man in a match performance, lovely assist for Sterling. <clears throat> and then the Daily Mail, the Daily Shit, you understand? Doing what they do, doing what they've done since their fucking existence, blood. And that's just putting out derogatory comments about people with, uh, with culture, people from a black background, people with ethnicity. You understand? Always coming with this, blood, saying about, you get me, his dad's in jail. Who gives a shit, bro? Yeah. You understand? Half of the Daily Mail's in jail for being fucking pedophiles, bloody. You're crazy, blood. Don't make me get started on you, man, you know, blood. You understand, like, it's, it's disgusting, bro. Like, you get me? They're talking about, oh, he's only been with one girl his whole life. Who cares, bro? Who cares? Oh, he's, his dad's in jail. Who cares, bro? Yeah. What's that got to do with football? What's that got to do with his man in the match performance? What's that got to do with his assist? What's that got to do with him bossing the midfield? What's that got to do with him pocketing Modric? Mm. What's that got to do, bro? Nothing and that's why when people, when people think, when people say, Oh, England ain't racist. Are you fucking mad? <laughs> like, Are you fucking papers. mad? These men forget that England started this whole colonization thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Fucking, fucking absolute arseholes, blood. You get me? But 
a good win for England. Uh, you get me? We needed yeah, that win, win, starting off with a win. Our first win in a Euro tournament, uh, in a Euro competition for a but, while, bro. Normally, we right? draw yeah, our, I forgot what normally we draw our opening because obviously the first Euro 2016, we drew 1-1 with Russia. Uh, Euro 2012. Euro 2012. Euro 2012. We didn't play Euro 2012. I know we didn't make Euro 2008 at fucking Edie at McLaren. But Euro 2012. Euro 2012. Who's our opening game? Uh, France 1-1. Oh, Jolien, Jolien, Jolien Lescott, it looks like score. Oh, yes. I'm, yep, 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 yep. It was a header from a corner. I remember that. So this was our first win. You get me? For a few years, man. You know what I'm saying? It's good to get... Um, like, um, start on the right foot, but um, did you see the Christian Erickson incident, bro? Yeah, it did, bro. <laughs> bro, like, bro, Ooh, that was Rivalism. the scariest thing. I've, one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life, bro. Bro, I just when I was, like me and Jetski were out in it, mm. and because that was his first day of quarantine, so I was taking him around and whatnot, and he got a message from one of his flipping Yankee man that. Yeah. And I was like, what? Just keep like, yo, Ericsson, there's a mad thing in Ericsson. I said, what? Because where we was, there wasn't a TV in the bar. Mm. And then when I got on, when I got on the socials and I see what I see, like, I said, Jesus Christ. The first thing yeah. I thought was RIP Mark Vivian Foley, blood, because he was yep. the first one yep. again in 2001 playing for Cameroon in the AFCON. You get me? I remember watching that game as well live, but the man just dropped yeah. him. I remember that, bro. You understand? RIP, man. You get me? And then I remember watching the Fabrice Muamba. Fabrice Muamba, yeah. You get me? And the man actually interact with Fabrice. Like, mm -hmm. he messaged me and said, like, yo, respects what I do. And you get me? When I saw that one now, I said, oh, my God, brother. And there was a, there was a, there was a, when they, you know, the, the cameramen are absolute arseholes, bro. You get me? Because they were sharing everything. When they showed his face, yeah, when, when, when the captain was holding his tongue, bro, he looked dead. Yeah. I was like, I said, like, bro. Why? why do you I have said, that on TV? Bro, I don't understand that. As soon as he's dropped, yeah, and you've seen them bring on the, um, the doctors, you get me, the paramedics, and you're seeing them bring on the defibrillator, bro, that's when you cut to the studio, yeah. bro. Yeah. You don't, you, because the fans are going to be crying, upset. You know, start their girl, they're zooming in on his wife. Like the, the the coverage was just absolutely it was unnecessary, bro. You get me, and then you're literally seeing them pump his chest and yeah. boom. I'm like, oh my god! And you're seeing the way his friends, his colleagues, teammates were praying for him. Like these men were shaking, bro. Yeah. Like, at that point, he was gone, bro. You understand? And it's because all of them, when they put the the um, the, 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 the circle around the, him, the circle around yeah, the wall. The only man that was actually looking at what was going on was Kasper Schmeichel and um, um, Simon Kjaer. Yeah, two. Actually, yeah, it was the two the of them. Other facing lot in, were turned. faces out of the way. They couldn't look, bro. And I, I, dude, I couldn't too. Bro, I, you know what? As people that were doing watch alongs, yeah, because Robbie was doing a watch along when it was happening, bro. How do you, bro? I, bro, I, I, I don't know, bro. I, I, bro, like, bro, it's, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, like it. You know when you're speechless, huh? Yeah. Like rivalry aside, bro, you get me. You do not want to see that blood because yeah. that could happen to anyone, bro. Mm -hmm. You get me, like it could. It could happen to Abba. It could happen to one of the Chelsea boys. You get me, like you saw Daily Blin. He has a heart condition already, yeah. and obviously he came through the Ajax ranks with uh, Ericsson. Ericsson. They're very, Ericsson. very close. You get me? He, they, was, uh, they was in that camp, uh, that generation. And Daily Blind even said, like, yo, I was scared to play the next day, bro. Because yeah. obviously, Holland were taking on uh, the Ukraine. And he was saying that I was having second thoughts about playing because my own heart condition. Mm -hmm. Christian Eriksen's a fit, healthy lad, bro. He eats right, trains, you understand? Lives That's right, does part. everything right. And Kalechi pointed out to me yesterday on the watch along that Inter Milan have one of the best medical teams in the world because they was the one that found uh, Canu's heart condition. So, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it was them that found it all them years ago. And they're just saying to me, like, yo, it's definitely not a heart condition because Inter Milan would have detected it. Mm. 
Their yeah. medical team is like the it's best. It's renowned. Yeah. It's known, bro. You get me? So this is just like, you understand? It's, like, uh, it's just, oh, Jesus Christ, bro. Like, you understand? Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I, don't think you'll, I don't think you'll play again. I'll be real. But yeah, man. You get me? Thoughts and prayers out to Christian Eriksson. You understand? I hope he makes a speedy recovery. Because you, know, you never want to see that blood. You get me? They even continued the game. I was a bit shocked. Yeah, that they even continue the game, and enough respect to the uh, to the Danish man then for actually going back out there I and completing it. it, blood. Because I, I, well, I couldn't have done it, bro. After seeing that, blood, even even after Ericsson said, "Please go back and do it for me," I that would have been like, dude, I I just saw you drop, like, and we don't even know why. I can I don't know if I could do it. You don't even know the situation of him as yeah. well at that time because you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen on the way to the hospital. You don't know, bro. Mm. You get me. But salute to the Danish man then. It was just unfortunate that they didn't win the game. Obviously, Finland got the 1-0 win. Mm. It, would, I mean, it would have been nice if they uh, got the win. Um, Belgium, Russia. We're going to fly through a couple of results to the people before we preview the big one coming up um, Friday night. Uh, Belgium, Russia. 3-0. Lukaku getting two. I told you he's my choice for the golden boot. When Bro. I tell you, <laughs> when he I tell is you, looking sharp. He is looking sharp, bro. I told you, fam. <laughs> told you, blood. That's my oh, choice. What was that? An extra, an extra 30, 40 mil just from those two goals wrecked, uh, tacked onto his price tag now? 100%, bro. I don't think, <laughs> no. Do you know what, yeah? I think he might be out of a lot of people's price range, bro, if you're looking for a striker to that. He guarantees goals, blood. Like, Lukaku, one thing about him, blood, he guarantees goals, blood. You get me? The game in the tournament so far, Netherlands three, Ukraine two. Now, Holland did lead 2-0 uh, before Ukraine made a comeback. Did you see that Ukraine goal, blood? Bro. Blood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's an- another. Like what Yamalinko, is Yamala, yeah. Yamala, Yamala, what's his name? How do you say Yamalinko. Yamalinko. <laughs> Yamalinko. That, that may be another, another one. I mean, that's another 10 mil tagged onto his price tag, too, just based on it. Ridiculous, blood. Absolutely ridiculous, blood. You get me? That was a quality game. But then, you get me? Another, another great game. Scotland nil, Czech Republic 2. Great game, you understand? Obviously, um, I didn't want Czech Republic. I'm going to lie, but obviously, man, don't fuck with Scotland like that because obviously, yeah. England and whatnot. Oh, but, rivalry, um, yeah. yeah, when it's time for this to be the rivalry. But I'm cool with them, innit? But in football, I don't fuck with them. But obviously, because of the Kudela situation, him being from the Czech Republic, um, Suchek coming out of his comments oh, yeah. and defend that pussy on as well. I wanted uh, Scotland to win, uh, but beat Scotland them. couldn't get the job done. And the reason why they couldn't get the job done because Kieran Tini went there, like, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I thousand percent agree with you on that one. How about that? How about that halfway line goal? Blood, for me, that is that's the goal of the tournament. I don't care. Because when you the way, bro, the ball, yeah. he hits it out blood, before it comes in. Yeah. He hit it. It's bending. it's like do you remember the Carlos free kick against France? Yeah, yeah. The 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 Roberto Carlos one? Yeah, when it went out yep. and then it went in. Yep, yep. That was like that, bro. That goal was unbelievable, blood. Because he he looks before. When you see when where the, the keeper's guy, at he, while he's yeah, running, yeah. He looks and he's like, all right. And then he bends it, bro. So he he knows what he's doing, bro. You understand? Uh, for and me, in terms in terms of technique too, I mean, the goal from like fifty yards out, the goal is tiny. The goal is like this big from fifty yards out. It only gets bigger the closer you get to the goal. So getting that accurately, getting it to drop two at the exact same time, phenomenal. It's ridiculous, bro. You get me. The deadest game so far: Spain nil, Sweden nil. Morata, bro. Seriously, bro. I told man about this guy, bro. He's fucking. He's worse than Werner, bro. Yeah, no, he is. He's worse he than Werner, bro. He has to. Like, I, I, I sent out a tweet during that game. I was like, how does a proud footballing nation like Spain, there's been people like Raul that have come before him, people like David Villa that have come before him. How, is, how are you going into Euro 2020 and your number one striker for the, in the whole country is Alvaro Morata? Makes no sense. 
<laughs> Spain are missing a striker, and you get me, they were missing a lot of blood, you understand? Hungary nil, Portugal three, Ronaldo getting two. Uh, I see Fernandez crying because he got badged up for the penalty. <laughs> Cristiano how can it. he really think he's, how can he really like, think you're, he's gonna, you're in contention in the team Ronaldo's in come on stop it Fernandez. but now Ronaldo is the all time goal scorer at the Euros um, he is the all time goal scorer the GOAT you get me let's get that in and then um, the biggest game so far um, could be a final if we're being totally honest blood. France won Germany no. Now, Pogba blood. I told man, when he plays for France, you can't fuck yeah. with him, bro. He's on smoke, bro. Superstar. He don't give a shit about Man United, bro. <laughs> he don't give a shit, blood. You see how he's playing Man United, blood. <laughs> My man was moving like prime fucking chavy yesterday, blood. Man just eyes zoop, 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 eyes zoop. closed, outside of the foot. Just I mean, it everywhere. France look dangerous, blood. Yep. You get me? I mean, the Mbappe disallowed goal. The, the, the Mbappe disallowed goal. Brilliant look at the finish. finish, bro. The way he opens up and he just strokes it in around the keeper. Brilliant. Puts Neuer in a spliff real quick, bro. And then oh obviously the, Benz- the Benzema disallowed goal. That look one at too. the ball from Pogba to get fucking Mbappe in, bro. Mbappe in, who squares it? That was oh. Bro. And then obviously you got that guy in Golo just nyamming man in the midfield. Yeah. Man, of the, man of the match-esque performance. I mean, he, he always gives you that. Brots are going to go far, in it? Do you, uh, let me ask you this. You, you think anyone stops him? You think anyone beats him? France, yeah. The teams I'm like, Portugal, the way I saw Hungary getting at them, yeah? That's, that's the thing. Is that how Hungary was in that, that game. Bro, I think we can beat Portugal, yeah? If we defend properly, I think we, we take our chance. I think we can yeah. beat them. The only teams I... I don't fear Germany. Um, I think Germany are building again. So I think maybe the next tournament, they'll be more dangerous. Um, Belgium and France are the ones I fear. Are the ones. Yeah, because that 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 hungry germ that that hungry game, the, the hungry Portugal game, that was that was zero zero into the into the eightieth minute. So that that three nil that three nil ref, uh, the three nil reflection is it's kind of it's kind of unfair on the thing. But I yeah, mean, no, Portugal I, I did dominate, but true Hungary they had some chances, bro. Yeah, they had some, they could have nicked it, bro. I think if Hungary scores first in that game, it's a different it's, it's a different. I don't think Portugal would have come back on one. Yeah, France, France. I think I don't think France. I don't. I don't think anyone. Hey, I don't think anyone touches France. <laughs> they have the perfect balance in their team. I think that's the thing as well, blood. They got everything yeah. you need, blood. Power, yep. power, strength, pace, everything, blood. Defense, offense, they have it all. They're just they they they're just a well oiled machine, blood. Mm-hmm. But the big ones are the derby. <laughs> hey, how are you feeling, troops? <laughs> Bro, like. We got a scone. We, we got we got a scone. We got a song that we sing, yeah, about Scotland. Uh-huh. Yeah? And it's just so true, blood. Scotland get battered everywhere they go. Scotland get battered everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. You're gonna hear that bear blood in the vlog, blood. Scotland get battered everywhere they go. Scotland get battered everywhere they go. Everybody go. You understand? Obviously, uh, England, Scotland, the big one. Uh, me and Jets will be there. Wembley, eight o'clock kickoff. Um, Kieran Tini will be back, I think, in the Scotland squad. Um, he had a little niggling, uh, a little niggle um, before the Czech Republic game. But um, what am I name again? Steve Clark expects him to um, take his place in. The start in 11. Um, this is actually the 115th match between England and Scotland. And the 100th in a competitive fixture. Their only previous meeting at a major tournament was in the group stages of Euro 96. 
at Wembley. England won 2-0 with goals from Shearer and Gaza. Current England head coach Gareth Southgate played the full 90 minutes as well, Blam. Nice. Nice. England are facing Scotland at Wembley for the 33rd time, nearly twice as many as any other fixture involving England there. None of the, pre- none of the previous 32 encounters have ended goalless as well. So, you get me, there's always goals expect in this goals. game. Mm-hmm. We expect goals, blood. Um, Scotland, Scotland have only won one of their last 11 matches against England. Um, it was a European Championship qualifier, 1-0 win. Uh, I remember Don Hutchison got the goal, but we went through uh, because we beat them um, at Hamden. And then they beat, uh, we, we beat them 2-0 at Hamden. Paul Scholes got both goals. And then they played us at Wembley and then they won one nil. So we got to 2-1. Keegan was the manager. And then we didn't even get out of the fucking grouping. And then we didn't even get out of the fucking group in Euro 2000. That fucking idiot, fucking Phil Neville, blood. I'll never forget that, blood. That stupid ass tackle, blood. I think this guy's a dickhead, bro. Clown, bro. That's why you're measured. That's why you're managing in the MLS, blood, you idiot. <laughs> I got, I'm sorry, I gotta send shots, bro. You know me. Even though I'm out there, blood, I still send shots on them, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm business. In Miami. Yeah, Zimmy. Um, the four games played between England and Scotland this century have produced 16 goals. 11 for England, 5 for Scotland. An average of four goals per match. So, all you barstool man that bet the over. Bet the <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots, blood. You get me? And then finally, England won their... Oh, look, Zaz gone, look. <laughs> Because that's it. That's it. That literally is it. <laughs> that was Damn. it. Bro, bro, bro. Are you betting the over today, bro? <laughs> dude, dude, did you do the over? It's plus 150, dude. Oh, my God. Fucking assholes, blood. The fuck is wrong with these oh niggas, my man? God. Oh. What's wrong with these niggas, man? <sighs> and then finally, <laughs> England won their opening match at the European Championship for the first time. Oh, so it was the first time we've won. Fucking hell, blood. I didn't even know that. First time we won, obviously beating Croatia. Uh, they have won their opening two games at three previous major tournaments. Uh, but they were all in uh, World oh, Cups. Cups. 82, 06, and 2018. Now, Southgate, for um, the Croatia game, he put out a mad lineup, blood. Now, when I saw that lineup here, yeah, and I saw yeah. fucking trip here at left back, blood. Actually, I, I didn't get your f- take. Bro, I was, I said, brother, you're playing trip here at right back, blood. Yeah. I said, what the fuck is this shoot doing, blood? <laughs> I said, bro. And then when I looked at the bench, yeah, I didn't see fucking uh Chilwell. Chilwell well on the bench. But Luke Shaw was on the bench, blood. So I'm like, one minute. You have a natural left back, yeah? The, the, if we be real, the best left back in the league this year is probably Luke Shaw, yeah? Yep. But then Gareth Southgate puts in a right back at left back, blood. Is this Southgate or Arteta, blood? Like, brother, you're going to see Declan Rice starting fucking right wing against Scotland, blood. You understand? Like, bro, no Grealish. I was like, fucking hell, bro. Like, how can you not start Grealish? Like, his last... The Saka thing, I get. I get the Saka thing because you can't put him above of, like... You can't put him above the likes of, like, Sancho, Sterling, Mm. um, Foden and then man at the moment. Left back, sure, it's a better option. So the Saka thing I get, put him on the bench. I get that. But to not have Chilwell on the bench, to not have Sancho on the bench, blood. Jaden Sancho, bro. And his excuse was, I didn't have space to put him on. So you're telling me, yeah, when I look at the bench now, yeah, you're telling me Ben White <laughs> is more deserving to be on the bench than Jaden fucking Sancho, blood. Big man. Nah, Zah, bro. Zah, 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 Zah. Brother, brother, brother. I'm seeing a half-fit Henderson on the fucking bench, blood. Yeah? A half-fit Henderson, bro. When he came on against fucking 
um, the game uh, when, when, when he missed the penalty, yeah? Yeah. We were getting overrun in the midfield. When we took off Kelvin Phillips at halftime and put him on, yeah? Bro, we were getting dominated in the midfield, blood. You're telling me these men are ahead of Jaden Sancho, blood? Oh, yeah. I was, I was feeling the exact, I was, I laughed when I saw that lineup. I laughed when I saw that lineup. <laughs> you know what, but fair play to him. In, it, in his defense. <laughs> it, it did work. You get me? Fair up. play. Yeah, fair play to him. It did work. But no England fan would have picked that lineup. Like, like yep. we, we, were all, we were even saying to drop Mings. Yeah. Because he's looked dodgy mm. in, in, in the in the, um, the friendlies, the warm-up games going into the Euro. He looked a bit suspect, blood. You get but even at, the start, a game. even at the start of the game, he was a bit, oi, oi, savaloy. But then when he settled down, then he got his composure and he had a good game, blood. But that lineup, bro, it had me, like, shaking my head, fam. You understand? Oh, what a manager. He's got to pick the right, I don't know, We've had a, you know what, yeah, this guy might even pick the same 11, but that's, so they've had so enough that's what time I was gonna off, blood. You. They've had enough time off, blood. He's like, these men have had enough rest. We played Sunday, we played Friday. That's five days, bro. That's like Premier League. Uh, you could play your team back to back, blood. Yep. You understand? And after the way they performed, yeah, it was a hot day. Uh, defensively, we looked good. We didn't really mm. look unsettled. There was only like a 10 minute spell in the first half where Croatia started to get. Their foot, um, tried to get their foot on the ball and started to move it around. Yeah, Modric started to dictate. He got his, he found his way into the game. The second half, it was very comfortable. Obviously, the last five minutes when they're going long, you know, you've got to ride it out, which we did. I'm, I'm, wait, I wouldn't start that lineup. Mm. Me pers, me personally. You get me. I think the substitutions he made during the game uh, made us look better. So I think that um, when Bellingham come on, we look a bit better. Mm -hmm. Even when Rashford came on, we looked a bit better. Um, Harry Kane, though, he came off. Um, I'm not sure if he's injured. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't seen anything on I haven't him. seen anything, but you get me. He went one-on-one. Okay. -on -one. <clears throat> he went one-on-one -on -one with the post and lost, bro. You get that me? was... Post. Bro, die. Man, and because where we were sitting, we were right like on that side of the stadium. Yeah, man, see it like smashed Ooh. right into. It. I thought I thought he had smashed his head into it. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing about Kane. I don't see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Uh, Harry Kane insists he's he's Harry Kane insists he's not undroppable as England prepare for Scotland match. Because if we're being totally honest, Kane didn't really have a good game. Yeah, against um. Scott, um, Croatia, but he was giving Croatia. the ball away a lot. You understand? <clears throat> I even think, excuse me, I even think that chance when he's gone into the post, I think he should have scored that, blood. Yeah. A man of his capability. Quality tapping. Yeah, blood. I think he should have scored that, blood. So, when you talk about lineup now, I'm going to get the people in my lineup. <laughs> this this you know, is what I want to eat. I don't think he's going to play the same team. Because tournaments, don't they, 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 they want everyone to at least have some minutes, right? Nah, but so then it's very unlikely. The, nah, but if, you, if, we to, if we beat Scotland, we're through. So the Czech Republic game, we can rest everyone. True. You understand? So I personally think Southgate will go the same. I think he'll pick the same lineup that he went with against um, Croatia. So I think he'll go, he'll go Pickford. Walker, Stones, Mings, uh, Trippier, Rice, Phillips, Mount, Foden, Kane, Sterling. Me, I would go... I like Sam Johnston, blood. You get me? For me, Sam Johnston should be starting, bro. Wait, who... Wasn't there a... I forgot which keeper. He's got... Um, no, that was... Um, um, Ram Ramsdale came in for Ramsdale Henderson. came in for Henderson. Bingo. Okay, so yeah. it was Henderson, not not Johnston. There we go. Now nah, Johnston's still there. <clears throat> so me personally, I'd go Johnston in goal. I'd go Walker, Stones. I'd start Mings. He had a good game. Mm -hmm. 
You know what? I'll start. You know what? I'll start Pickford in goal because Pickford done. He, he didn't have a lot to deal with, but when the ball was coming in, he done well. You get me? So fuck it. Even though I think Johnson should start, Pickford I'll put in. Uh, Walker, Stones, Mings. I start Shaw, blood. I start Shaw of a trip here. Uh, my midfield would be. I mean, the two that played work very. I thought they played very well together. Well, Rice and Phillips, Deckers, yeah. Deckers, and then again, Calvin Phillips, yeah. Because he, Rice sat, and then Phillips was yeah. in the box to box. It, the balance was. I thought they they looked together. They looked that balance was good. I know my guy Grealish, bro. My guy Grealish, bro. He could get him at that number ten behind the striker. All right, I'd go Phillips, Rice. Phillips, Rice, Mount, Grealish, Calvert Lewin, Sterling. Ooh, so Kane. So that's Kane out. And who else? Who else started? Kane out. Um, Mount out and Trippier out. Okay, so I'd make three changes. You get me? Yeah, not bad. Fair. I'd go with that, man. I, I don't know. Who I, would, I mean, I mean, I don't have much. I don't have much vested. When I mean, I am watching England. I'm rooting, rooting because you don't have much vested. But I, I. Uh, the only the only thing I'd probably change, so I'd keep the I'd keep that same back four and the two pivots. The only the, the only place I'd rotate is, is the three behind the striker. So I'd put mm -hmm. I'd put Jack Grealish in Jack Grealish in ten. I would put Raheem Sterling out wide with with uh, with with Mason Mount. <clears throat> okay. Then Harry Kane Harry Kane is a striker. Yeah. Prediction for the Scotland game. What's your prediction? Ah, you got England should England should win. You should win yeah. comfortably. You should win comfortably. I'd say I'd say I'd say even with Southgate's lineup, any anyone's lineup, I'd say probably two 0 I'd say three 0 I think yeah. we're gonna slap them. Yeah, you sh you should win comfortably. I think we're gonna slap them still. But that's another yeah. one. Go on. No, it's like, I, I think it's just like pretty much. Yeah. Hopefully, blood. You, get me? you don't want to lose to them, man. There, fuck that. But that's another episode wrapped up for you lot. Episode 68, innit? 68. <clears throat> so the next one, snitch me. <coughs> you know, blood. The Americans. <laughs> oh, mate. Bigger Heineken every time. You get me zero zero make sure you get yours from your local retailer or deliver to the crib make sure you're 21 and over before you purchase we got my dog czar every time bro man misses you bro pause you get me we're gonna link up and uh yes, fucking july sweet. hopefully you can go to florida and uh watch the boys you get me it'll be good for you to see the boys in live action you haven't, you haven't oh, seen oh, them I'm, for a while i'm going now nah, we yeah all right we're going now fuck it we're going we're going I'm definitely there ah damn I'm definitely there <laughs> we're going people fuck it we're going <laughs> but like i said at the end of every show like, big up jets as well before we cut like you understand know doing great work great 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 edit on the vlog you get me he's loving life right now in london you understand we got my dog every time probably but, the, probably the man <laughs> bro he's loving it blood yeah i'm telling you <laughs> yeah. I can see, I can see off his Instagram stories and everything that, oh, this guy, mm -hmm. he might not come back. <laughs> you know, man, I'm thinking I'm not English leader. <laughs> you get me? But like we say at the end of every show, people, blood, stay safe and wash them fucking hands, blood.